the next set of maxwell's equations will be discussed for time varying field so like in the previous case we have four equations in point form and four equations in integral form so let us first talk about the point form maxwell's first equation states that del cross e bar is equal to minus d bar b bar uh, by d bar t where uh, d bar by d bar t is nothing but partial derivative with respect to time and uh, this equation is derived fr uh, from Faraday Faraday's uh, law with the help of uh, something called as Stokes uh, theorem so that's Maxwell's first equation in the uh, a point form for time varying field uh, the maxwell second equation is obtained from ampere's circuital law and it states that del cross h bar is equal to j bar plus d bar d bar by d bar t so this time we take a partial derivative with respect to time of uh, d bar the maxwell's third equation in point form for time varying field says that uh, del dot d bar is equal to rho v which is exactly same as Maxwell's first equation for a static field that we have discussed before and Maxwell's fourth equation is uh, for in point form for time varying field is del dot b bar is equal to zero which is again Maxwell's fourth equation same as fourth equation for a static field so this four e Maxwell's equations for time varying field they relate the electric and uh, magnetic fields to uh, each other let us now go through Maxwell's uh, equations for time varying field uh, in integral form. Let us go through the various terms that we are using here. E bar is the electric flux intensity. B bar is magnetic flux density. H bar is magnetic field intensity. D bar is nothing but electric flux density uh, rho v we had already defined before its volume charge uh, density j bar is nothing but uh, conventional current density uh, let us go through the four equations in integral form, form. Uh, maxwell's first equation in integral form is again obtained from faraday's uh, law of electromagnetic induction it states that uh, closed integration of e bar dot dl bar is equal to minus surface integration of d bar b bar by d bar t uh, dot ds bar so left hand side is the line integration the right hand side is the surface integration and both come out to be exactly same uh, maxwell's second equation states that integration of h bar dot dl bar uh, is equal to i plus integration of d bar d bar by d bar t with respect to surface area ds bar similarly maxwell's third equation uh, is nothing but uh, integration of uh, maxwell's uh, third equation in point form on both the sides so you can see it's integration of d bar with respect to surface area uh, exactly same as integration of rho v with respect to given volume and uh, maxwell's fourth equation when you integrate uh, b bar with respect to surface area over a closed surface uh, the value that we get is zero so the right hand side is nothing but the exactly same four equations of point form just that these equations are in integral form in the second set so these are the four equations uh, which were defined for uh, a time varying field let us now discuss another set of maxwell's equations which are defined for free space in the previous sections we discussed maxwell's equations for static and time varying fields uh, for the free space the conduction current density j bar and the volume charge density are zero so the maxwell's uh, equations for free space are obtained by putting uh, j bar equal to zero and rho v equal to zero uh, as shown in this particular uh, table these equations are also valid for good dielectrics because in good dielectric j bar is zero and rho v is again zero so you can see uh, you can very much compare this equations to maxwell's uh, equation for time varying fields uh, it is very much similar to uh, those equations wherever we had j bar so if you remember the second equation in point form the right hand side was j bar plus d bar d bar by d bar t that j bar becomes zero here and also the capital i in the integral form uh, becomes zero because of that because if there is no current density the, the current will ov also obviously be zero uh, which also holds true for dielectric that there cannot be any current flowing through perfect dielectric also uh, rho v uh, is zero so in the third equation uh, the right hand side was rho v in point form so it becomes zero integration of rho v also becomes zero uh, in the integral form so these are the few changes apart from that uh, all the equations of time varying fields 
uh, exactly in same way applied to the free space also. So that's all about Maxwell's uh, equations. Uh, we have seen three sets, one for static field, second set was for time varying field and third set was for free space.